the North Carolina coast of the United States is beleaguered by explosive sonic booms the locals call Seneca guns. Sometimes they sound like fireworks, but the strongest can make the earth rumble. Claudette and Mike Hussey had just moved into their new home in a peaceful seaside town near Cape Fear. They were looking forward to enjoying their quiet neighborhood until... I was uh, sitting at my desk in my office, working away at the computer, and I felt this large boom. It was just so loud that the windows shook. This wasn't an isolated event. Several times a year, earth-shattering booms startle Cape Fear residents. In April 2012, Paul Glazer set out to record the booms that had been shaking his parents' house for years. After weeks of patient waiting, Paul Glazer had finally recorded this mysterious phenomena for the first time. Hear that? That was on the quieter side. It didn't shake the house or rattle the windows, but it definitely, it, I mean, it was loud enough that I knew exactly what was going on when it happened. But being able to isolate the sound doesn't solve the puzzle of what causes the Seneca guns. Scientists have discounted earthquakes, thunderstorms, and military jets. But if there is no obvious scientific explanation, could there be one that defies rational understanding? Like many Cape Fear residents, Ivy Bird is unsettled by the terrifying booms. Sometimes at night, if I feel the booms, I'll look outside and I'll occasionally see orange glowing balls out over the sea. And I don't know what it is. They just stay there. They're in a little pack. But it's not a plane or anything because it, it doesn't blink. It's just an orange glowing ball. Ivy says she only sees these lights when the Seneca guns occur. It does feel like the booms are coming from the same direction as the orange balls. If they are related, what could they be? 